Hello everyone, I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Today's tutorial is a golden glitter look, perfect for New Year's Eve or any party really. My aim is to introduce glitter in a more wearable and luxe way. I'm going to be using the Tom Ford Cognac Sable Quad, which consists of a light gold, a warm mid-tone brown, a cooler darker brown and a copper glitter. This also happens to be one of my favourite palettes. Let's begin. To start, I've applied a satin finish foundation. I like satin finishes because they tend to look most like skin. I've also shaped a semi-bold brow and this is to ground the glittery eyeshadow. I'm going to continue by priming the eye Then I'm going to place two pieces of surgical tape on the outer corners. This is because I fancy a graphic eye shape today. Taking a fluffy crease brush, I'm going to blend the mid-tone brown into the crease. This will create a seamless transition between the darker shades and the brow bone. Taking a more precise and dense brush, we're going to take the darker shade in the quad and further define the crease and the outer V area. Really push that dark shade into the seam of the tape to achieve that graphic shape. You may want to go back in with your fluffy crease brush just to perfect that gradient. Keep building until you've achieved some depth. Glittery eyeshadows can sometimes be very tricky to work with. If you would like an opaque and bold glitter, I suggest using a sticky eyeshadow base. Today I'm using the LA Splash Eyeshadow Sealant. Sticky bases also prevent excess fallout underneath the eyes. Then taking any dense flat brush, I'm going to pack that copper glitter onto the lid where I just placed that eyeshadow sealant. I'm confining this glitter just to the mobile lid, so just under the crease. The inner corner is looking a little bit bare, so I'm going to take the lightest gold colour in the quad and I'm going to apply that with a damp small brush. Using eyeshadows wet really intensifies the colour. Taking your liquid eyeliner, or gel if you prefer, apply your winged eyeliner. Use this tape as a guide. This is a really great trick for those who struggle with winged eyeliner. Then tight line your upper waterline with a black pencil just to fill in any gaps of skin. And now it's time to peel off your tape. Do this very slowly so you don't hurt yourself. A few people have asked me if this hurts or if it irritates the skin. It doesn't because I stick and unstick the sticky tape on the back of my hand a few times before I use it so that the adhesive isn't so strong. Now that the tape is no longer obstructing my lower lash line, I can complete the eyeshadow. I'm going to take the mid-tone brown and I'm going to run that on the inner half of the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the darkest brown and run that on the outer half of the lash line. It's quite important that you don't skip this step because it helps streamline the eyeshadow and avoid a top heavy appearance. I've gone ahead and applied some mascara. I use the Lancome Hypno Star, which is a current favorite. And you could stop here, but I feel as though New Year's Eve sounds like the perfect excuse to don an amazing pair of eyelashes. Today I've chosen the Shoot and Mirror Slant and as the name suggests they're quite slanted which will perfectly complement our winged eyeliner.
and that's the eyes done. Now clean up any inevitable fallout that you might have had. I use the Bioderma Sensor Bio and move on to concealing. I'm going to put my under eye concealer in the inner corner and I'm also going to bring this down onto the cheek in a triangular shape motion. This will create a subtle highlight and also build some facial architecture. The eye look is very warm so I've chosen a peach blush. Chanel blushes are a great option because they have a little shimmer which photographs beautifully. So I'm just going to place this on the apples of the cheeks and blending upwards. For the lips, I've opted for a pale peachy tone that won't detract from the show-stopping glitter on the eyes. This is called Forbidden Flower and it's by Edward Bess. And that completes our New Year's Eve glitter look. You could recreate this eye look using whatever colour family you like. I think that silvers would look particularly striking. Comment below and let me know what you think. And I hope you all have a very happy New Year's Eve. See you later.